guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for watching. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back and showing love. So in today's video, I'll be showing you all how I decided to style my hair after I completed my natural hair wash day routine. I'm gonna go ahead and start by using my Chi 44 Iron Guard Heat Protectant Spray, making sure I cover as many strands as possible for maximum protection against further heat damage. I'm now going to section my hair off into three sections, which ends in four sections to prepare for my blow drying process. I make sure to further detangle each section with a wide tooth comb before blow drying to ensure I have minimal breakage as well as to accomplish the sleekest blow dry as possible. And the blow dryer I'll be using today is my Silverbird Conair Pro and I'll be using it on its highest heat setting. Now, we start the blow drying process and you'll see in here that I do a quick length check. I am gonna go ahead and speed the process up once I've completed this side of my head as blow drying can become very repetitive. So now that half of my hair is dry, 
I must add how much I hate the way this heat protectant feels on my hair and fingers. I had to go wash my hands before continuing to the other side. Mind you, it's not my first time using this heat protectant and the process always feels disgusting, but it always yields the best results. Now that all of my hair has been blown dry, I'm gonna go ahead and bring my fan in the room and prepare to flat iron my hair bone straight. I use the fan because I find it cools my strands much faster and it also gives me a more sleek and shiny end result. So to flat iron my hair, I'm gonna be using a rat tail comb, a hair tie, a double-sided flat iron brush I picked up from Sally's Beauty Supply, and my old but faithful Ion flat iron on 450 degrees. Thank you. 
Okay, so the flat ironing process got uh, somewhat complicated at this point. So I decided to just go ahead and finish up in the bathroom. I'm going to go ahead and stop talking at this point, but please continue watching to see the end results. And just a FYI, I did trim my ends before I show you all the end results.
And these are my results before I trimmed about an inch off. The next clip is gonna be my final results after trim. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe.